I decided to make a bombshell review. Most of them are niche. Andy Tower Lair de Desert Marocaine. You get a really smooth concoction of airy, smooth notes and imagination of African desert air. At first you get resinous smoky notes with hints of spices. The dry down is a bit more sweet. Notes here are very rich. Coriander, cumin, lavender, labdanum, birch, jasmine, amber, cedar, vetiver, patchouli and the oak moss. In a dry down. Very rich notes here, as you can see. Uh, it's definitely not linear fragrance. That's what I love about this fragrance. The notes are still floating here, evolving here, going from one corner to another. It's very appropriate for special occasions, I think. So if you want to cheer up your day and be surrounded for the whole day by the quality, high quality standard, it's something that you would appreciate a lot. So. The first one is Tower Lair du Desert Marocaine. As a second, here's the Nikolai Amber Kashmir Intense. This house quickly became my number one because of the founder of company, Patricia Nikolai, uh, uses very high quality ingredients. I've tried almost all, of, uh, all from currently available Nikolai perfumes. There is no single one which is not at least very good. Most of them are top notch or masterpieces. What I get uh, from the Amber Kashmir Intense uh, is very silky, smooth notes of amber, orris root, sandalwood, warm spices and vanilla. And the, the scent itself is very rich uh, by the compositions and it's very appropriate for summer and for it shines the most. So you don't get anything generic of this perfume and the smell is very professional, made with noble, refined, sophisticated compositions. And the Amber Kashmir Intense is mainly appropriate for special occasions. So that's why the Amber Kashmir Intense, I've decided to, to buy it. And it's absolutely something that uh, to me is a result of the professional uh, perfume and it quickly became number one to me along with Andy Tower. No harsh notes, the high quality ingredients is everything is there and it's unique and I haven't smelled anything before. Uh, even the amber perfumes I haven't smelled the the single one perfume that is similar to this one. So Amber Kashmir it's something really unique and to me uh, it means a professional standard 10 out of a 10 perfume that quickly uh, became my number one uh, along with andy tower perfumes in perfumery and the basically uh nikolai perfumes are to me they're much more interesting uh, somehow than the few of the the couple of malls or less exclusive and they don't repeat the perfume cliche uh, as you can you can smell in the other niche companies what i like about patricia nikolai and nikolai is she doesn't follow the trends and she's going on her own journey with a high quality standard that's amber kashmir intense is incense rose by andy tower uh, i'm not a fan of rose fragrances but uh, this one is the the only one that completely blew my mind how uniquely it's made and how easily it can be worn by anybody the reason why incense rose is that good is because Andy Tower uses only high quality ingredients and the result of his work is mind blowing. The first impression you get here, it's the lightness of the, like the connection of the lightness of the incense and pepper notes with the rose vibe blended together. And together it creates very, very, very unique picture of the Orient and 
Andy Tower's skill is simply amazing. He quickly became a number one along with perfume the Nikolai uh, of Nisha perfumery to me. Tower. That's the incense rose, Andy Tower, uh, the oriental perfume uh, that is very well made. So if you're into the rosy incense perfumes and go get it, go try it. It's absolutely, it's something that I haven't smelled before. Uh, the new edition 2023 in Nikolai collection. The main notes here are very rich as in every Nikolai perfume. Dominating note here is cardamom and the coffee. Then you get plum, cinnamon, clove, sandalwood, patchouli, uh, tonka bean, vanilla and amber in the dry down. It's very refined, it's not overly sweet, it's very professionally made. I also recommend it for the lovers of gourmand fragrances. What I really like about Patricia Nicolai, the founder of Nicolai, is she doesn't let herself influence by the trends. Caravan Serai intends its dream of every perfume creator to have his own great oriental perfume. And I think the mission uh, was completely accomplished by Patricio de Nicolai uh, with the vibe of the fragrant amber strength by the iris uh, and overflowing with patchouli and musk for a very warm, cozy feeling. It's a cheerful soaring of mandarin and pepper creates a very contemporary fragrance. There's nothing uh, outdated here or dated here so for more than 30 years Nicolai has succeeded to be a part of the finest French perfume brands uh, Nicolai has built its reputation of the exceptional quality of its fragrances and it is one of the rare brands to integrate everything from the creation process so the purchase of the best natural essences and the manufacturing I think they continue on their own path uh, and their perfumes, to me, are better than Guerlain perfumes, some of the mouse and some of the less exclusive by the Chanel. It's Cure Cuba Intense, and this perfume quickly became my number one perfume, along with Bellamy Wediver. This, to me, means even more of a interest. Very refined, nothing I've smelled before. There's no wet, leafy, musty notes of tobacco leaf or no harsh traces of leather here. But instead of that, there's a very smooth uh, woody vibe, uh, woody tobacco cigar vibe. So there's a combination of tobacco, Cuban cigar, dry cocoa. It's a fragrance that I want to wear for a formal events or the casually and that's the best creation and this perfume is the best creation of cuban cigar smell that i've tried so far so definitely works in sunny cool days and fall quite easily overall it's not heavy fragrance so it could be used uh, for a formal occasion or casually if you love cuban cigar you definitely must try this perfume so go for it, go try Cure Cuba Intense. As another one for the fall season, uh, I've decided to choose Van Cleef & Arpels Orchid Vanille uh, from Collection Extraordinaire. It's my favorite for years for autumn. If you wanna cheer up your day and wanna feel that cozy vibe of vanilla, what I get of this perfume is a Spiritus Double Vanille from Lard at Materials. Uh, Erlan private line. It's not heavy or overly sweet, so that's the pro of this perfume. If you haven't tried Orchid Vanille, definitely go try this. As a lucky seven, I decided to uh, mention Nobile 1942 Il Capriccio da Maestro uh, that I've discovered recently. It's a gourmand perfume. It's very similar to Zerzhov of Casamorati 1888. So there is a combination of the warm spices, vanilla, rum, cinnamon, honey, laudanum. Uh, also very rich notes, appropriate for the autumn 
daytime, nighttime. If you like sweet perfumes and uh, want to wear something else than the rest of the crowd, go try it and check it out. El Capriccio del Maestro by Nobile 1942. And as a eight perfume, uh, and the last three perfumes are very personal to me and something that I, Eugene is my hero, my guiding light. Been watching his, been watching every his YouTube content for years. So I love how true and authentic he is. He was the first guy who said quite openly, he doesn't like La Nuit de Lome or Valentino or more Ventus. So I like how he's not going blindly with the trends. And uh, the only important thing to him is if he likes the smell or not. He got me when he highlighted uh, my command during his live stream. So I want to thank Eugene for packing and sending me these samples from Canada over the ocean straight to the Czech Republic. So I'm so, so, so grateful for that connection uh, uh, through his creation uh, with, his, with his mind and with his imagination and with his thoughts. So thank you, Eugene, for so much for that, that you share uh, your creation with the rest of the world and we can we can share it as well so that's bloody brilliant and i appreciate madly your work your thoughts your connection uh with the with your viewers and watchers for years your authenticity it means something emotional to me very first la dure squeeze is a combination of the light and bright with the dark to me so it's a story that you have to experience to understand a particular phase of our lives so if you like roses and patchouli which eugene is a huge fan of go try it and yeah to support the the great great man with a with an open mind and open heart it has a similarity or resemblance with the portrait of a lady to me or Rian. So if you're a fan of those types of the smell and want to try something new and you're bored with the with everything that you have in your collection, definitely support this good guy. So as a as a second one uh, from his from Les Abstraits, Bellam creation. And it's an iris based fragrance, refined, more balanced uh, iris itself. And uh, to me, there's no single one iris perfume on the market that I can compare with. So if you are a snob, preferring Frederick Mouths or type of the Frederick Mal iris fragrances, I highly recommend you to try this, definitely. And uh, as a third one, and the last one from this Les Abstraites line, is the, the Sander. I didn't expect it. It will become a winner of all of these three perfumes, uh, because I'm mostly into powdery, iris-oriented scents. But this is a winner, complete winner. Very nice green freshness here uplifting your mood. Uh, the, the perfume itself is very refined and the, the notes are the high quality standards here, as you can always expect from the picky Eugene nose. So I personally cannot imagine anything else than this type of the high standard. Hands down to the Eugene, what he created together with uh, Antoine Lee. All of them brilliant, outstanding creations to the fragrance world and to the fragrance community. Thank you, Eugene, for uh, what you what you do to to ourselves, uh, to the real collectors and connoisseurs, and to the fragrance community. Uh, because and thank you all for watching this and wear something with a high standard only. That's all for today. Bye now and have a great weekend. And find the reviews are there are 
not repeating themselves and they are bringing something new on the table. Buy now and wear something unique.